So the first thing I am doing is taking my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade and I'm just applying a layer of that to my skin and then I'm taking two shades of the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. Uh, I'll have the shades listed down below but I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this into my skin. It's quite a bit darker than my face but it does match the rest of my body so don't you worry your pretty little face. So moving on to the eyes, I'm using Sigma Persuade Eye Base as my primer and I'm just blending that all over my eyelids with a little flat brush. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek Mirage and I'm setting my entire eyelids with that shade. Works really well with my skin tone so that's why I love it. Then I'm just chewing some tape off and applying it to the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm taking Peach Smoothie and just blending this into my crease as a transition. Um, I did show the colours a little bit too close to my ring light, so it kind of washed them out. So I do apologise for that, but anyway, moving on. Now I'm taking Frappe on the same E40 brush and I'm just starting to blend a little bit more precisely, but I'm still keeping it pretty blown out. Then I'm going in with the shade, I believe it's called Preppy, but it will be listed down below. And I'm just adding a little bit of that to add some more like greeny, yellowy kind of tone to the eye look. Then I'm going in with the shade called High Tea, which is a beautiful khaki green. And I am taking a Sigma E25 and I'm buffing this into the very outer corner and the very inner corner and then joining it above the crease, leaving the center of the eyelid blank, if that makes any sense at all. I hope it does, but you can just see what I'm doing. So this color does take a little bit to build up, so I'm picking it up and sort of adding more color as I go. Then I'm going in with the shade Corrupt, which is a matte black, and I'm using a little tiny tapered brush just to buff this into the very outer corner and kind of bring it up into a wing, like the part where your wing would be. And then I'm just going back in with the E25 and making sure everything's blended. Then I'm taking some Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and on an E55 brush I'm just going to buff that out. So I'm pretty much applying it to the very center part of the lid as a halo eye and just using this brush to very lightly press it into the eyelid. And then I'm taking the foiled shadow in the shade Daydreamer. I'm first just wetting my brush with some Fix Plus and then I'm just applying it to that part of the lid we kept blank. And I do just kind of buff it in but then I take my finger and just apply a little bit more because I wanted it to be really poppin'. Um, but here I am just blending the edges again and then going back in with high tea and just making sure I had a nice amount of that green shade kind of blended in. And here I'm just going back in with Daydreamer once again and as you can see just when you apply it with your finger it gives a lot more pigment. And then once again going in with no additional product and blending the edges. Then I'm taking the shade Shimmer Shimmer, which is a really light, shimmery, champagne -y highlight, and I'm just highlighting my brow bone. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Liner in the shade Black, and I'm creating a nice winged liner. Then I'm just removing the tape because it's oh so satisfying and I'm just using some of my cellar water on a tiny little flat brush and I'm just fixing up where my eyeliner was a little bit crooked so that's a little tip for if your eyeliner goes a little pear shaped. And then I just tight lined with some black liner and now I'm applying some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and then the falsies that I used are the Klepke um, Saint Tropez lashes, Saint Tropez or Istanbul, but I'll have them listed down below again. Then moving back onto the face, I'm taking some Boing Brightening Concealer in the shade number two, and I'm just using this on a little 3D HD Kabuki, 
and I'm just applying it to where my dark circles are, right underneath my eyes and in the very inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm taking my Naked Skin Concealer again and I'm just going to conceal and highlight. So I'm applying it in a upside down triangle shape under my eyes and then all down the center of my face to add a bit more coverage and just highlight all of those areas. And again, I'm just going in with my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. To set everything in place, I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to bake, so I'm applying it with a beauty blender under my eyes, on my chin, my nose, my forehead, and then underneath where my contour is, kind of thing, or where it's going to be. And while that was baking, I just hid my lash band with some more liquid liner, and then I went in and brushed away that powder just with a little duo fiber brush. To contour my cheekbones, I'm taking this contour shade from this Zoeva palette and I'm using an F40 brush just to buff this into the hollows of my cheeks and then around my hairline and my temples, underneath my jawbone and my chin and a little bit down my nose and you know, all of the areas that I literally contour in every single video and yeah, I really love this contour powder though. And then I'm taking the blush from the same palette just on an F37 brush and I'm just buffing it over my apples of my cheeks and just like towards my hair. Then I'm taking this uh, nude sticks shimmer thing and it completely broke off onto my beauty blender which was really annoying but it's like a balm texture and I just applied it to the tops of my cheekbones to act as a base for my highlighter. And the powder highlight I used is the MAC Extreme Dimension um, Skin Finish, I think, in Double Gleam. And I just used an F35 brush, I think this one is, just to apply it to all of the high points of my face. And then I was nice and glowy. For my lips, I first lined them with this Maybelline Lip Liner. It's just a really pretty pinky nude. Um, the name of it will be listed down below along with everything else So I just outlined my lips and filled them in a little bit using that lip liner and then I went in with the MAC lipstick in the shade cream cup Which I hadn't used for a very long time and I really loved it. So Then back onto the under eyes I'm taking frappe and I'm using my E25 brush just to buff this right underneath that lower lash line then going in with high tea, I'm using that to do the exact same thing basically, but I'm keeping it quite, not quite as far in towards the inner corner. And then I took Daydreamer, which was the foiled purple shadow, and I just applied it to the inner third of the lower lash line. And then going in with Corrupt on an E15, I'm just buffing that into the lash line as close as I could get it. And then for inner corner highlighting, I used Shimmer Shimmer once again. Then for my waterline, I decided to go with this green, just for a little pop of colour. It's from Marc Jacobs and I'll have the name of it listed down below. Then I just finished the entire look off with some lower lash mascara and that finished it up. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you in my next video. Shit!